are you going to do? I want to make sure you pay for what you did to David and everyone else that you've hurt. <clears throat> they trusted you and you hurt them. You humiliated them. You took something from them that they'll never get back. You think he gives a rat's behind about you? He's not here to protect you, you know. He's here to stop you doing a runner. You need to leave before you get done for witness tampering. <laughs> you, you think I'm scared of that? I'm not David. I'm not Billy. I spent more time inside than you've had haircuts. Strange ways, Forest Bank, Webby Neck, you name it. And all the guards. And all the kitchen stuff that make your dinner. See, I don't have to hurt you right now. As much as I'd really, really like to. Because when you go back inside, there's nowhere you'll be safe. Don't believe you. Up to you. You tell the truth, and you won't hear from me again. But if you let David go down for this, I'll make sure your remaining time inside is a living nightmare. And I'll be waiting for you when you get out. And I promise you, this <laughs> seem like a paper cut after I'm done with you. Hey, good match for you over there, eh, mate? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It seems from your face that Josh hasn't changed his statement. Yeah, no, no, Sean has just called, said he has. I think Davey's off the hook. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course it is, it's brilliant. Then why the horse impression? I, I just... I can't work out why Josh had suddenly changed his mind. Oh, who cares? Put it down to divine intervention. Paul? What? What have you done? I don't believe you. What? What's the issue? How did you even get into his room? I nicked a uniform from the staff room. Do you know how stupid and risky you've been? What? It worked, didn't it? It's hardly the point. Well, yeah, it kind of is, though. I mean, David's getting out. And if Josh has had a small taste of his own medicine, he'll be too scared to function for a while once he's back inside. Well, I don't know the kitchen stuff. He's probably on a starvation diet. You are enjoying this a bit too much. Oh, what is your problem? This is exactly what you wanted. Not like this. Threatening Josh will only reinforce his worldview. He'll never change that way. He'll never change anyway, no matter what you do. If you weren't wearing that and married to him, you'd have done exactly the same thing. You're... You're bound by morals. I'm not. I'm not going to feel guilty for making sure that animal stays behind bars where he belongs. But I'm... I'm not trying to make you feel guilty. I just... I wish you hadn't taken such a risk. You could have got into so much trouble. Worth it. Really? You hardly know, David. What I know is he went through something awful and he survived. I mean, he was getting married, looking to the future. I'm not going to let that scumbag take that away from him. Not when he's already taken so much. You know you can do that too. Put it all in the past. <sighs> I hope so. Thank you. You're amazing. <laughs>